campers, this is Darren with My RV Works. Today we're out here in Polsbo, Washington, and we're going to work on this. Um, it's a Dometic furnace nowadays, but when they came out with this thing, it was an Atwood uh, Hydro Flame. And um, what the customer states it's doing, and I've confirmed this, is when you turn it on heat, the fan will come on for its pre-purge stage, which may be 15, 20 seconds, and uh, then it just turns off. We don't have any ignition, no clicking sound. So what we expect to hear is when the furnace comes on, what we expect is for that fan to blow and then uh, it's pre-purging. It's getting all of the combustibles out of its heat exchanger in here before it introduces gas and ignites. So that's the first thing you hear. And then what you should hear is a tick, tick, tick sound, which is the igniter. And if you hear that, great. And you should right away have ignition. But if you're watching the video, it's probably because it's not happening. Not only should you hear the ticking sound, after about 15 seconds, you should also maybe smell some LP gas in this area right here. Okay, we have our, our, our Atwood um, 8525-4, okay? There's this model number. And you'll notice right in here, right that, the one, a one blink indicator off of the control board. And if we look up on the sticker up here, a one blink indicator tells me there's an airflow limit fault. Basically, that is the sail switch. The sail switch is a proof switch. Now, another thing I noticed is this cover is kind of loose, okay? And uh, if the cover's loose, well, there we go. Now he's working. So um, I think what we had is we had a sticking sail switch. So. Um, we are going, so right away I was playing with this and he started right up. And I do hear a little bit of a, let me turn him off. I'm just going to there. Okay, that was exciting. So basically by me unplugging this, I took away the control power from the control board. But what I was trying to show you was this one blinking light indicating sail switch failure. Um, sail switch is these two blue wires that go in right here. They're gonna go into the fan housing. Let me pull this apart and I'll show you the sail switch. But basically, I think we found our problem, but uh, I'll carry on with you. We'll take this off to show you what the sail switch looks like. There's gonna be two screws in the bottom. Two screws on the top is typically what we have, and maybe a couple of tie wraps to snip off. And um, we'll pull this off, show you the sail switch. I wanna inspect it anyway, and then I'll put two new screws on top, two new screws on the bottom, and we'll have a happy camper. While I'm taking this apart, I'll show you this. Up here, there's an Allen, or a, I'm sorry, a, a wing nut. Okay, so you take the wing nut out and you unplug this connector and then your electrode, and this whole control board comes out um, right here. So it's really in with that one Allen, key, that one wing nut right there at the top, a plug right here and a plug right here, and then this whole thing comes out of the way, and uh, that might give you some more room. So it's not a big hair, hairy deal to get this off. Just a wing nut and a connector. I wanted to show you that. And I've already gotten the little snips off, but I'm trying to get this off. I found the screws for these. Looks like there may be even some broken pieces in there. Um, so it looks like maybe this thing vibrated or, or worked loose. So let me get this off and we'll take a look at it. We've got the cover off. This is the sail switch and it is in this blower housing. Okay, so there's your blower housing, sail switch. And there is the, the blower wheel. Okay, so let me show you what's going on here. When that blower wheel is blowing, this sail switch doesn't take much, I mean, just a little bit of pressure, and it's going to close inside, making the 12 volts pass through from one wire to the other. So that's what he's doing. He's proving to the control board that the fan is blowing. And on this instance, down at the bottom, I've got some debris from those connectors. And on this one, you could just see, there we how the, the, the plastic has gotten brittle and dry rotted on all four. I was able to fish out all of the wire, all of the screws um, from this. Uh, the furnace did exactly what we would have asked it to do. There was a failure, there was a fault, and what it was was this K, this, this blower housing broke free from uh, inside. And things were falling. The wing nut just fell. <laughs> um, and isn't that amazing that this furnace was smart enough to turn itself off? So we did. We we could not support good airflow. We could not support combustion because the ears dry rotted off. The screws kind of fell off, uh, allowing more air into this. Uh, area, the sail switch was not able to be made, and um, the furnace is doing everything correctly. He's saying, hey, there's something wrong with me. Uh, I can turn my motor on because that's my first default position to pre-purge, but I'm going to turn the light on. I'm going to blink, and I'm going to tell you I, I, I had a problem with my airflow. Isn't that what that error said? It was like a, a one blink airflow problem, and sure enough, we found an airflow problem. Blech, air, it's cold. My mouth's cold. <laughs> an airflow... <laughs> 
air flow problem with with this cover not being on tight so basically I'm gonna wrap the video up I'm basically gonna put it back on there maybe take some of that HVAC foil tape and and force this cover to be on there's no point in put the screws back in they just won't grab and um, uh, but I think we've nailed this problem so if this was helpful yeah thumb it up yeah my favorite RV tech I love your videos yeah I'm gonna have paparazzi showing up um, I'm being silly um, no, subscribe. We got more videos coming out. Hope this was helpful to you. And we just proved that the furnace is doing exactly what we expected to do if there was a failure. So this is Darren signing off. I'm going to get this fixed and get on to my next customer. See you down the road. Bye. Have, oh, wait. Happy camper. Say my RV works. There you go. Okay. Bye, guys.